Hey guys, it's Monica. I, I know that everyone is doing their September favorites because by the time you see this, it'll be October. However, I never have a whole lot of new stuff. So, you know, do you guys want to see favorites that are repeat favorites? But I mean, after a while, well, there isn't a whole lot. So this is going to be some of the things that I have really loved in September and I have repurchased <laughs> something out of necessity and new things that I've discovered that I really haven't talked about yet, I don't believe. I had bought the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout. Most of you know that I like my superhero and that probably has been one of my favorite mascaras for a long time. And most of you also know that once I discovered the Essence Lash Princess, this is the one in the, the purple writing, the purple tube here. Once I discovered that, it sort of took the place of my It Cosmetics superhero. I mean, I like this as much, if not more, than my superhero. So I still have a tube of superhero. I just got sucked into the new product, I guess. So I decided that I was going to cough up the money for the lash blower. I wanted to try it. First of all, I wanted to see if there was a difference between this and my superhero, which I have been using for a long time. And, and you, by this time, you probably have seen, you know, other people talk about this mascara. So for me, when I used it, I didn't notice the difference between this and the superhero. There's a minor difference in price but I didn't notice a difference in my application and how it wore and how it looked at all. I also didn't notice the difference between this and this. Yet, there's a huge, huge price difference. So I have to say, I put it to the test this month with this, and I went back to using what I have of my It Superhero, and this still remains my favorite how can you and you can't beat the price it's an awesome awesome price i love it love it love it it remains my favorite nothing has knocked it off yet now i am when when it comes to eyeliners eye pencils products that i put in my waterline i have always loved the urban gk 24 7 glide on pencils i like those you do have to sharpen them I like them a lot. They stay on my eyes. They, they don't drip out, um, run out or whatever. They're really, really good on my eyes. I really, really like them a lot. But I've tried other pen like Sephora, um, Ulta. I've tried other gel pencils to see how it compares. I always go back to the Urban Decay for, for the quality. But I was very fascinated by the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Waterproof Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. And I'll, I'll tell you, this application, this is such a cute little thing. This like, like, you know, simulation of um, water and all that. So I bought this because I, I'd heard a lot of people, I think it was Trish. I do believe it was Trish that had first mentioned this. It's a very, very fine point. And it is really great if you want to try to do a... A wing. I will link Trisha's channel below in case you're not following her, but you probably are. So I went and I bought this. It, this, I mean, this is a decent price. It's drugstore. It's not overly expensive. It's not two dollars either. It works really nice. It stays on all day long. It gives me that that control of that fine line ability. But oh my gosh, if you make a mistake, <laughs> it's hard to get it off. So I would say that this has become, my Urban Decay is still my number one in my liners, but this has become a favorite for me for doing a little bit of a wing, which I, I really, really like to do that. I also bought, I couldn't wait to buy this. Many of you know that I'm a benefit. I use their Industrial Strength uh, Concealer for my veins. Many of you know that I've been using that for a long, long time. And I have really, and I've got a number of benefit products, like for example, this particular one, which is a hydrating. And I've had this for quite a while. It's sort of like a hydrating concealer. It, it's very lum luminous. So it doesn't really conceal anything, but if you want to have a little bit of a touch up under your eye, for me, I would use this. I don't put a whole lot of stuff under my eyes because everything I do makes my eyes look worse. But I was so looking forward to this Benefit Concealer and 
when I went and I got tested for this, this is their brand new one, they put me in a number five, which I was shocked at. But she said the colors on this new concealer from Benefit, let me read it for you, Cakeless Concealer from Benefit. The, she said the colors are not the same as the ones in the pot. So this is a doe foot applicator like this. I will tell you, you need to go very lightly with this. I'm not too sure if you can you can even see what I did, but you do need to go very lightly with this. However, it covers. <laughs> it does. It covers, and and not that I've brought it up under my eyes at all. I mean, I have gone under my eyes a little bit, but not a whole lot. But I, I just love how this covers and cakeless for sure. It hasn't caked into anything at all. I love it, love it, love it. So. This is definitely a favorite, even though I've only been using it for, what, a week now? It is definitely a favorite. I would definitely repurchase it again. And Ulta has that sale when you get the 20% off and you get it on um, all their products. And this is when it's time to really stock up on that. So I really like that. The other thing that I really like, this is sort of a, a wacky little cheat, but this is, this is CVS Health. This is a, teeth, a tooth whitening pen. It makes me feel like it's doing a difference. I don't know. You put it on, you kind of like boops the stuff up, goopy there, and then you paint it on. And after, you know, maybe five minutes or so, it's gone. And I think it just might boost maybe or help remove a stain. I don't know. I like it. Your teeth are your teeth, you know, and I need a lot of dental work, which I'm not looking forward to. But I do need a lot of dental work. The other thing I just want to mention, I went to the cosmetic company store up in my local area maybe about two months ago, maybe three months ago, and I ended up buying, this is the Stick Foundation, and this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. I really like this for touch-ups. This is awesome, awesome for touch-ups. Now, when you can buy this at the cosmetic company store, I think when I got this, it was like 40% off of the original price. And I checked the dates, if there's any dates on it for expiration dates, everything was totally fine. So I didn't use it, you know, maybe used it once or twice, and then I kind of forgot about it. And then I cleaned out one of my old bags because when I go away, I don't want to take my really nice bag. I have like a Michael Kors bag that I really like, and I have a number of other bags. I have some Balzano bags, but I want to be really casual when I travel. Well, I usually take everything out of my good bag. When I say that, you know, like when we go camping and all that stuff, I usually want a really casual type of a bag that I can sling over my shoulders and the one that I really like is Bagolino, and these are not, ex you know, these are not cheap. These are not super expensive bags, but my first Bagolino is in my motorhome. I have also a small one. This one I got at TJ Maxx. It's the perfect size. It crunches up. I can put it, you know, inside a suitcase if I want, but it's perfect because I can put my camera in here, and if I'm on the go, I can use it as a cross body bag. So anyways, long story short, so I was switching bags because we were going we were going away and I didn't want to bring my, my good bag. And when I switched bags, I found this. And I said, oh, yes. So I ended up using this. We had gone to, I don't know, it's about maybe a month and a half ago now. We went to Bar Harbor, then we went to Canada and all that stuff. I ended up using this a lot for touch-ups. And I said, wow, I really, really like it. This is not heavy. This is just very luminous on me. And I really, I really like it. I think this is super, super awesome for the price. So the other thing I wanted to mention is the Built Bars. You guys know, I've talked about the Built Bars. I just, I just ordered two big mixed bags, boxes. I love this stuff. Jay loves this stuff. 110 calories. They absolutely keep you full. I can't get over it. They just sent me a six pack sampler with a brand new flavor and it is the, the peanut butter. Oh my God, chocolate peanut butter. O-M-G. I love it. So I'm just mentioning these Bill Bars because they are really super, super delicious. And for Jay, they really hold his appetite, especially when he's golfing. He'll take one out. He'll have it. He, you know, it holds his appetite. He feels full of energy. They're very, very filling. I keep mine in the freezer, and then I take them out, and I cut them into little slices. 
and they're so so good yummy yummy yum and I have a coupon code below I'll make sure I link it and I talked about this because this was sent to me from the Octoly Network from Color Wow and this is their carb infusion dream cocktail for fine limp hair this is definitely a favorite I have been using it now for a good three weeks I love it I absolutely love it. So this has gone into my favorite piles. I just repurchased my Timeless. I already talked about that, but I think out of all the vitamin C's, this is the only one that I really, really like. Now in my last, not my last minute, my last video is my 10K giveaway. But in the video before that, I talked about this ring and some of you asked me to hold it up closer so that you could actually and I'm not just sure if this is focusing or not, but this is the Julia ring and this is the Daisy design. Can you see that? Is it picking up? I should hope. It's really hard for me to tell. I can't tell if it is or not, but maybe I should put my glasses on. If I really like this. I didn't buy this. This was sent to me and I think it's really nice and I've been wearing it a lot since I got it. And so far, it's, it's it's really nice. I've had a couple of compliments on it. So I'm hoping you guys, the one, those of you that wanted to see it close up, I hope this, this gives you a good close up view of it. It's really, really a pretty, pretty ring. And I like the fact it's sterling silver. It's got a little bit of the yellow. It's got the little daisy. So it just makes it a little bit different. I got the size seven. It's too little to fit on my middle finger. It fits perfect, a little bit loose on my, my ring finger. So, and that's what I ended up getting. So my other favorite, I'm just going to have to say, my other favorite this month is um, I got my Bella Topper. This was from Uniwigs. This was sent to me. And I have worn this topper out in public and on videos and out all over the place. And no one has ever noticed a thing. And, you know, and people say, oh, really like your hair. It, it just looks a lot fuller. It looks a lot, you know, it looks natural. It looks a lot fuller and people really like it. So I would have to say my Bella topper has been a favorite. I have it on now. Now I am going to turn around just so that you can see. I just have it pinned up. And this is how I would kind of pin up my own hair, except that I would add maybe a, a fake bun on it. But I didn't add anything. So I don't know. What do you think? So by the time you guys see this this video, Jay and I are leaving for a trip, flying down south. We're going to South Carolina and we're going to go to Charleston. I'm so excited. I've never been to Charleston. We're staying in an Airbnb near Foley Beach, Folly Beach, something like that. And um, we've got all these little, little adventures planned. I cannot wait. And I'm going to share some of those adventures. I, I was thinking if this video was super shot, I would wait and then, you know, put them in there. But I think I'll share some of those adventures when we come back. But we're, we're going to be taking a boat ride where we're, we're going to be exploring the coast. And you just absolutely never know, never know where we'll end up. But South Carolina. Here we come. I cannot wait. That's my favorites. I, you know, I don't have a whole lot. Oh, I forgot to mention my um, <laughs> poo. Um, before you go, the poopery, poopery. Whoever invented this, I think this is a girl's best friend, especially if you work in an office where you don't have a private, like one stall bathroom. This is amazing, amazing stuff. I am so glad so glad I got this from I got this originally as a Christmas gift from my niece <laughs> I looked at it and I said what she's Auntie Monica oh really I said okay <laughs> I love it I love it it is amazing so I think that's it for me I have no idea how long this is guys I just wanted to share a couple of my September favorites I really don't have a whole lot like I said you know I still listening to I'm listening to a bunch of different podcasts I don't know if anyone has any interest in my podcast but I've been listening to uh, one on Princess Diana. I was like, oh my God. And um, I finished listening to the Marilyn Monroe one. Oh, and of course all the true crimes and, and things of that nature. So, you know, I, and I've talked about my podcasts. I really love listening to podcasts. So that is sort of like a lifestyle favorite. And the motorhome is back in business. You know, we went camping. You saw the, the sunrise video that I took. I'm hoping I can get some sunrise or sunsets down in Charleston too. That would be like, 
amazing. I'm going to zip it up right now because we're leaving super early tomorrow morning and I still have packing to do. <laughs> Bye guys.